that's what's more fun for me. I spent most of my life as a man. Think of Ashton Kutcher, and I bet two things come to mind. Twitter and Demi Moore. Since making his mark on the small screen and moving into films, it seems that Ashton's personal life, rather than his acting chops, have been the subject of intense scrutiny. But is he to blame for courting this attention? Christopher Ashton Kutcher was the local good-looking jock in the tiny town of Cedar Rapids where he was born and raised. He was spotted by a modelling agent and was soon modelling for Calvin Klein, amongst others, on the catwalks of New York, Paris and Milan. Quite a change from the local blood bank where he used to donate in order to pay his rent. Ashton had developed his interest in theatre in high school and after the excitement of modelling waned, he got an acting agent and flew to LA for two auditions on the same day during pilot season. And almost unbelievably, this acting newbie booked the second job and joined the cast of that 70s show. Playing the dim but lovable Kelso scored him a role in the charmingly stupid Dude, Where's My Car? After starring in a hit TV show and a big screen comedy, Ashton quickly became one of Hollywood's most sought after and hottest bachelors, dating everyone from Mad Men's January Jones to his just married co-star, Brittany Murphy. Young love, man. It's messy. It's a dirty job, but we all gotta do it. At the same time that Ashton's love life had become the media's main focus, he popped up in Cheaper by the Dozen and then made his dramatic debut in The Butterfly Effect. Turns in these films helped him form his own production company, Catalyst Films, for which he wrote and produced Punked, a reality show which centred on playing elaborate pranks on his celebrity mates. It was such a massive hit that the term punked became the new slang for a practical joke. And everyone thought that Ashton had punked the entire country when he hit the red carpet at the premiere of Charlie's Angels' Full Throttle hand in hand with his 16 years older girlfriend, Demi Moore, her ex-husband, Bruce Willis, and their three daughters. The relationship was far from a prank, however, with the couple tying the knot after two years of dating and with Bruce Willis's blessing. A very wise man once said that the greatest things in our life will happen in the most illogical ways and always at the worst time. Ashton kept his head down and kept working. He went on to play more romantic leading men type roles in Guess Who and A Lot Like Love, which was his most challenging role to date. Ashton had to learn sign language as his brother in the film was deaf and he also faced one of his biggest fears, singing in public. I have a, a hyper sensitive fear of singing in front of people. Um, stems back to a, uh, a solo performance in choir in like in high school that did not go well and uh, so I have a bit of a hypersensitivity to that. In real life Ashton has a fraternal twin who has cerebral palsy and growing up Ashton was his main carer after his mum. He did everything necessary to look after his brother Michael and art imitated life somewhat with Ashton's dedication to learning to sign for the role. I based a lot of my character around that. Um, just uh, the idea of having a deaf brother and, and communicating a lot more with the hands and, and, uh, and, and having that be more of the focus. And also, you know, with the speaking of the character, um, as far as, you know, being clear with what it is that you're saying um, so that he can read lips. And then I worked on sign language for about three months before the movie so that we could communicate on, to, with each other on the set. Another lead role in the quirky What Happened in Vegas opposite Cameron Diaz cemented Ashton's reputation as the go-to guy of rom-coms. And he took his meatiest role to date when he produced and starred in the dark spread as a handsome LA gigolo living off rich women. Although the film's success was minimal, critics seemed willing to take Ashton seriously for his participation in such a challenging and personally confronting project. You know, the sexual content in the film is like, uh, really aggressive at times, and, um, you know, I, I think I'm, like, 
have my own insecurities about my body and have my own insecurities about my, uh, you know, it's sexual exposure that, like, I'm from the Midwest, I'm from a Catholic family, I'm from a relatively conservative environment. Um, and so for me to be that artistically liberal and free um, was really challenging. Ashton Kutcher seemed unstoppable. As well as working on a stable of projects through his Catalyst films, and as the new face of Nikon, he made history of a different kind by becoming the first user of the social networking site Twitter to gain more than a million followers. In honour of this one-of-a-kind achievement, he donated $100,000 to charity. He also then nabbed the largest role in the romantic comedy smash Valentine's Day along with one of the most impressive ensemble casts ever assembled on screen, including Shirley MacLaine, Julia Roberts, Bradley Cooper and Jamie Foxx, amongst others. And when he hit the pink carpet for the premiere, Ashton revealed his own thoughts on Valentine's Day. It's great to be reminded that, that you got to step it up occasionally, you know, because I think relationships and the, the tendency is to get caught in a pattern where it's like, ah, oh, we do the same thing every day. I come home, I do this, you do that, and that's the thing. And sometimes it's great to have a day that just reminds you to, like, change it up a little bit, do something special and sort of reignite that exchange. Um, because, you know, you want your relationship to have circuitry, but the only way for it to have circuitry is for, it, for you to give it momentum. And I feel like Valentine's Day is an opportunity to create that momentum in a relationship. Keeping to the theme, the king of rom-coms teamed up with the queen of rom-coms, Katherine Heigl, for Killers. Directed by Aussie Robert Lukettage of Legally Blonde Success, Ashton played a spy and transformed himself physically by taking on a rigorous training routine that had his director and co-stars very impressed. Ashton uh, worked diligently in, in creating the character Spencer and he underwent not only, you know, a, a, a transformation in terms of um, his performance, but in physically. Ashton became uh, not the Ashton that I knew. He, he, you know, almost doubled his his weight and muscle mass, and became the sort of much bigger built, bulky guy. And that that shows like the level of commitment. Like he worked so hard right up till the the, the day we shot. I remember arriving in France and just seeing him, you know, work out till he could 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 no longer breathe. I mean, that took a lot of dedication. But he also brings this charm, and you're going to see a vulnerability in Ashton Kutcher. Uh, in this film that perhaps uh, we haven't seen before. And Ashton was thrilled to have Magnum P.I. himself, Tom Selleck, play his intimidating father-in-law. Spencer is, is obviously played by Ashton Kutcher, and it's a, it's a difficult role to, to mix uh, reality and, and comedy. This, is, this has very strong elements of romantic comedy, um, and it has um, a lot of action. Uh, there's very few actors that can do both, and Ashton is one who can. The idea of having someone that could potentially physically dominate you um, felt like a felt like a, a, a valuable essence to us. So we were thinking about like, all right, well, like who's a bigger guy who's got like an intimidating thing, but doesn't have to try to be intimidating. And uh, we went through some names of people, and, and I was watching a thing on CNN, I think, and Tom was talking about, uh, Tom Selleck was on, and he was talking about the work he was doing with the veterans. And I went, wait a second, this guy was like a Marine, he's like a pretty hard dude, like, if he was my father-in-law, I would have, I would, have, I would, I would definitely have to like, sort of step back and go, yes, sir. Although the film Far From Killed at the box office, Ashton's follow-up effort, No Strings Attached, co-starring Natalie Portman, fared somewhat better. Interestingly, Ashton revealed this little tidbit that would prove telling in the days to come. I think that people are generally afraid to get hurt. Um, I think people have, you know, ideas in their mind about who they're supposed to be and what they're supposed to be, and they just don't want to get hurt. Um, and and that can come in a lot of ways. I mean, it can come through the death of a parent and, you know, it's sort of goal-driven life. It can come through a tumultuous relationship that you're just coming out of. Um, it can come through, you know, tons of different different avenues. 
But I think commitment's scary um, because, you know, w w sometimes when you love someone, they go away. Or sometimes when you love someone, they end up sleeping with your father. <laughs> It was soon hereafter that word spread that Ashton and Demi's marriage was on the rocks. And amidst the gossip and personal turmoil, the pair individually tweeted that the marriage was over. This bad patch for Ashton Kutcher was rounded up when Demi Moore was admitted to rehab. Ashton put his head down, took control of his Twitter feed and kept working. His professional reputation untarnished by the year's bleak events. This was proved when he signed on to replace Charlie Sheen in Two and a Half Men in a multi-million dollar contract. Hollywood writer Bob DeRosa encapsulates Ashton in a nutshell. I think he brought kind of a, an accessible sort of charm and roguish nature. I and mean, I think that's, that's his great gift, is that he's really tall and really handsome and women love him, but he's just so easy to get along with. And I think that that, uh, that kind of um, accessibility um, makes him a movie star that we still want to hang out with and, and you always want that. You want to watch, you know, you want to watch a movie for a couple hours. You want it to be with a star that you don't mind hanging out with. And that's it. At the end of the day, none of us mind hanging out with Mr. Ashton Kutcher. Stay tuned to Star Fix for all of the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcasting glorious high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. It's altogether better. Find or follow us at Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and at mnc.tv.